Decker open and, and maybe some other people as the season goes on. The key to his game, I believe, at least one of the keys, is that he doesn't turn the ball over. He is a guy who is right. very protective of the football, so he gives his football team every chance to be successful. And maybe the other important thing from a team perspective, they have begun to believe that he's going to win games and they play inspired football for him. And anybody who uh, denies that, I think you're doing a disservice to Tim Tebow and what he's doing for the Denver Broncos. Well, defensively, special teams are doing it for the Chargers. Yes, team effort. Yes, the defense is playing outstanding football. And for San Diego, and this is going to be a recurring theme for some of the teams I uh, follow mm -hmm. closely, mm -hmm. they have to decide if they're going to make something at the end of this season. And it may not be enough, it probably won't be enough to do anything about making the playoffs, which is always the Chargers' goal. But they got to decide that this is the longest losing streak, I believe, in 10 years for San Diego. They have to decide if they're going to stop it and make something of December or be remembered as, as one of the more eye-opening teams in the wrong way. I mean, it was even in the Powder Blues on a day they honored Junior Seau with Dan Fouts introducing him at halftime. Mm -hmm. Really? We'll be back with more on the Blitz. Y'all see my dog, Tim Tebow. I'm telling you, prove all y'all critics wrong, man. He's from Jacksonville, Florida, man. MCJ Jam talking about Tim Tebow. Y'all already know what it is. For all y'all critics out there, boy, that boy 5-1 as the Broncos starter. Running tail left.